Bronsted-Lowry acid base theory is a little bit different than the Arrhenius that we talked about in class. Uh, the main difference is something like this, where the um, definition of acid base includes a proton. So um, in this case, because it's going to be a transfer of a proton, we need two species, an acid and a base at all times. We just can't think of them as alone. This is different, but it's still good. Um, and so the definition will be an acid will be something that donates the proton to the base. So if we look at a simple acid-base situation, such as um, here we have vinegar or acetic acid, however you want to call it. In this case, you can see this proton is being transferred to this lone pair here. And in the end, this guy loses a proton, and we end up with the acetate anion. And over here, we end up with this H3O+, plus, which has a new name, which you need to know, called the hydronium ion. So as we were talking about in class, this species here absorbs light and uh, therefore we know it must exist rather than just a plain old H+, plus, which was discussed before with the uh, Arrhenius definition. So we can try this same exact uh, plan with something like ammonia. It's not too bad. Uh, ammonia is going to be, uh, we'll just use Lewis structures like this. Here's ammonia, something that we know is a base. And if we put it in water, and just use the Lewis structures again, then what we can see is ammonia is a base which can accept a proton. So if we circle this proton here and we think about it, it could be transferred to that electron pair on the ammonia. And that would leave us with an equilibrium of NH4+. Plus. Let's draw the actual Lewis structure. If we do it properly, we put brackets around it. NH4+, plus, plus an OH, like this, an OH-. minus. So that would account for how ammonia is a base, and it does increase the hydronium ion concentration, just like the Arrhenius definition said. But how it did it was unknown until this particular theory was invented by Bronsted and Lowry. A similar theory is called the Lewis acid-base theory, and all that you're really going to do here is change your focus from the proton to the electron pairs, which we're already kind of getting mixed up in anyways. So if we take a good look at this, um, there's going to be a, a new definition where the base is the thing that donates in this case. It donates an electron pair. So let's go back to our acetic acid. And in this case, we got acetic acid. And that's obviously our acid. And we're showing the electron pair here attacking the proton. And that's essentially the picture uh, that, that causes us to have this arrow going in the opposite direction that we saw. Because up here, it looked like the arrow is going the wrong direction. See there? But really, the arrow comes from the idea of the electron pair attacking that a proton and essentially taking it. So if, if the water here is donating the electron pair, see there's its electron pair that is donating, then the water is a base. Water is a base. Now we can look at the same exact thing with uh, ammonia again. And here's the water. And according to the Lewis theory, these electrons right here will attack this proton, and that's how we will get the NH4 plus and the OH minus. So there you have it. There's our acid-base theories. You should look at these once again before you come in, and we're going to take up from here. There you go.